So actually, typical persons that we are going to have on the moment of initia, they, they differ. Like I, I said from the introduction that we had, uh, make sure that you go through the introduction, uh, which is uh, actually on membership, uh, so that it can help uh, to understand some of the typical questions that uh, we might be given, which is just a little bit different from what we had in that uh, uh, introduction video. So in this case, if you are to consider this typical question that we are given, it is still on the calculation of the moment of initia, which is fine. But you see that we are limited that these formulas that we are given here, they are limited. Okay, let me uh, present what we are given so that we can see if that is going to work. One, you are going to work with the sketch that you're given. You're given, make a neat sketch of y is equal to x squared. We are used to this. This is a quadratic graph uh, of y is equal to x squared with a positive. So we are going to have something of uh, this nature. That is our x and the y. So remember, in this case, the x values are being squared. Any negative becomes a positive. Any positive when squared remains as a positive like that. So meaning to say we are going to have something of this nature. So you'll be having like values one, two, three, and so on and so on. So this is limited between the lines x is two and x is one. So maybe we're gonna consider somewhere here and somewhere here at x is two. And the line of y is equal to zero, which is the x-axis. So also the x-axis is part of it. So as you can see, the region that will be left out is this part. That is the region that is in between, maintained by these points that we are given. So we are going to have our strip somewhere there, according to the limits that we are given. Our limits are of x from one up to two. So it is best that you use the strip according to the limits that you're given. So it's not about how this is going to be rotated. No, it is about the limits that you're given there. So if you're to consider, we were going to see that the strip that we are given because of the limits is for X. We are having a representative strip for X. But according to this, they are saying the volume generated when the area bounded by this curve is rotated about the y-axis, meaning to say the volume is of y. It is rotated about y. Yes, the strip is for x. Remember, volume can change. The volume for y with the strip for x, which is the shell method. Remember the concept of your volume. Actually, they're asking you the volume in this case. Let us just quickly go through this. The magnitude of the volume described in 5.31. So as you can see, they are not even giving you like with respect to what? Rotated about what? They are not even saying anything. Why? Because you are given the axis of rotation. It's already there. Rotated about what? The y-axis. It's already there. The axis of rotation you're already given. So what you need is the volume with respect to y. We are given about the y-axis. So meaning to say about the y-axis and the strip being for x, this does not correspond. So what is it that you're going to use? That is the shell method. Remember, I referred about that in our introduction. So make sure that you do watch uh, the difference that you're going to have between uh, the shell and the disk method. So the volume is for Y, the strip that we are given is for X. So as you can see, these two, they do not correspond. So we it's best that we use the shell method which states that the volume with respect to y can be given from uh, 2 pi, the integral of a to b, the limits that you're given for x, and that will be the product of x, y with respect to x. 
So as you can say, it's with respect to x. So it means y is equal to f of x. The y that we are seeing there represents the function of x. So with this, we can calculate our volume. That is 2 pi, the integral of a to b, that is the limits that we are given in x from 1 to 2. Then we have got uh, x times y, which is our f of x. So y is equal to what? y is equal to x squared. So that's x squared with respect to x. So that is, we can integrate this. Okay, let's multiply. That is uh, x to the exponent of 3 with respect to x. Remember, the bases are the same at the exponents. So that means we are going to obtain a 3, and we can integrate that uh, part of x to the exponent of 3, which is x to the exponent of 4 over 4 with our limits 2 and 1. All right. So if we are to substitute, this is 2 to the exponent of 4 over 4 upper limit minus the lower limit. So if you substitute uh, the upper limit minus lower limit, you are going to obtain uh, 2 pi times 15 over 4. All right, so you can actually simplify this, which is if you multiply 2 pi and 15 over 4, that is going to be 15 over 2 pi. All right, this is volume measured in cubic units, or you can even write it as a decimal. That is 23,562 uh, cubic units. So this is the volume that you're going to have with respect to y uh, that is uh, taken. Uh, about that rotation about the y-axis but the strip was for x so it means you're going to use the shell method okay this is now affecting the moment of initia on 5.33 calculate the moment of initia about the y-axis of the solid rotated when the area described in question 5.31, the question that was described is rotated about the y-axis. Okay. The moment of initia that we need here is supposed to be taken about the y, rotated about the y. But the strip here is for x. So in the same sense, we need to calculate that is 5.33, the moment of initia, but the strip that we are given is for x. This does not correspond. Re remember when we had our um, introduction, if we were given a function of this nature here, from our introduction, if we are given a function of this, where the strip is for x, I talked about this. If you're given something of this nature, this is strip for x, y is equal to f of x. What is it that you're supposed to ask? The moment of initia that is with respect to this, that is with respect to x, is the one that you're supposed to think of. which is corresponding, the, the strip is corresponding. It's A, it's X, it's X. So it's just like the concept of a volume. The strip for X, rotation about X, you use the disk method. So in this case, that part, you consider it as a circular. This is a circular lamina which uses these formulas. In that case, we are going to operate with this formula. As we can see, moment of initial for x, the strip is for x. The moment of initial for y, the strip is for y. So these ones, we do not worry, you're already given. This is what we had our, on our introduction. If it was like that, we're going to, to use the, the formula direct. But on this one, the strip being for x as it is, they're asking us the moment of initial about the y rotated about when it is rotated about the y from the strip of x. These two, they do not correspond. 
these two, they do not correspond. So these formulas, they cannot be used. This is IX, the strip for X. The moment of initial for Y, the strip for Y. So what if this does not correspond that what you're supposed to calculate, which is the moment of initial, it's opposing the strip. It's about the Y axis, but the strip that is on your diagram is for X. It is just like what you have on the volume where you use the shell method. So that is the concept of the hollow section or the shell method concept. Whenever you are given that condition, so it follows that in a rotation or when you are given the, 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 the strip that it was supposed to be for X, we are given the limits A and B and this strip is for X where the limits are. This is a function of Y is equal to F of X, remember. And in this case, you need to calculate the moment of initial when this whole area is rotated about the Y. So it follows that the formula is now two pi times the density, the integral of X to the exponent of three times Y with respect to X. So that's the formula that you can use where this Y here is a function of X. So that's our F of X. Remember, it's, it is supposed to be integrated with respect to x, the strip for x. So y is f of x. So this is also, or can also be presented when this strip now is for the y. Given something of this nature, this is our function. We've got our limits, this time from c to d. The strip that you are given is for y. You are given the strip for y in this case, and x is equal to f of y. From a normal consideration, you are supposed to be asked to calculate the moment of initial of y. About when this is rotated about the y, on a normal consideration. But they are not going to ask you something like that. They are going to ask you the moment of initia about the x-axis. The moment of initia when this whole section is rotated about x-axis. That's to form a hollow section. So in the same sense, this time we are going to have 2 p, uh, 2 pi times the density integral of Instead of having x cubed, it is going to be y cubed times x with respect to y, where this x is representing f of y. So in place of this x, we are talking of f of y. So as you can see, just knowing one formula, you can memorize the other one. So this happens when the strip is not corresponding. A rotation it's about the X, but the strip is for Y. The moment of initial when this whole section is rotated about the Y axis, but the strip being for X. This is different to what we are given previously on a circular lamina, where the strip, uh, the rotation is for X, the strip is for X, just like a, uh, when you are using the, the disk method on, on, on volume. So it also has the same consideration even on the moment of initial. So on our question now, we can attempt it. We can see uh, we are given, this is about the Y axis, but the strip is for, the strip is for X. So we are going to use uh, the shell concept, meaning to say this is what you're going to use. The rotation is for Y, but the strip is for X. So from this formula, we saw that, all right, we're gonna just use it here. We do not need uh, this volume on this part. And also you're not given there in terms of the mass or in terms of what you just calculate direct. You can even leave in terms of the density, 
you are not given uh like your answer in terms of what remember on our introduction i said you can be given like try to answer in terms of the mass all right so in this case remember that is the moment of initial bot y and we are given the strip is for x they do not correspond so it follows a hollow section which is going to be given by 2 pi times the density integral of x to the exponent of 3 y with respect to x a strip for x like i said this represents f of x so if you were to substitute this the moment of initial in this case was going to be 2 p uh, 2 pi times density the limits that is from 1 to 2 x to the exponent of 3 times this is not going to change because already it's in terms with respect to x and it it is already a term in x so you focus on y there to be written in terms of x so you just take it from what you're given y is equal to x to the exponent of 2 y is f of x with respect to x so that is it that is it just like that so meaning to say in this case we can uh, simplify 3 plus uh, 2 that is 5 with respect to x we can integrate then substitute our limits so that was the moment of initia for you so that is 2 pi times the density if we integrate this that is to the exponent of 6 over 6 with our limits from 1 to 2 so you can substitute upper limit minus uh, the lower limit concept so on the upper limit you're going to have 2 to the exponent of 6 over 6 less of x 1 to the exponent of 6 over a 6 so this you can simplify this on its own then multiply to the outside uh, part of the bracket or you can just combine it's up to you so in this case you, i was uh, obtaining something i obtained something like 21 over 2 from this whole part that we are seeing there so if you multiply to 2 pi that is going to be 21 pi times the density all right so remember moment of initial raised to the exponent of 5 that is the units to the exponent of 5 you can also multiply this 21 times pi that is combine that you can also combine this that is going to be 65,973 times the density just like that so like i said we are not given like calculate this in terms of the mass no the question is just calculate the moment of initia so you are not given in terms of the mass or anything, so you can even leave your answer like that that's how you can calculate uh when the section the rotation that you are given it is rotated about is not corresponding to the strip that you are given so these are the formulas that you're going to consider if it was uh on a certain function of this nature they were going to ask you to calculate the moment of initia when it when that whole section is rotated about the y-axis when it is rotated about the x-axis i mean but having the strip for the y-axis but being rotated about the x-axis. So as long these, these two here are different, as long these two here are different, that's a hollow section or uh, the shell method concept, just like uh, the volume concept, like I said before. But if they do correspond, that is where you use your direct formulas. And these ones, the advantages that you're already given your formulas, I explained about that, how to use these formulas. We're going to have uh, some other typical exam questions, but that's how you can answer these questions.